Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. It's your boy Phil. So today we are going to have a snack, salted dry fish or dai. So what are we waiting for? Let's start the video. Hope you're having a great day guys. So today we are going to cook salted dry fish and squid or daing. A favorite Filipino snack and or breakfast. This is usually paired with fried rice and two eggs for breakfast or any other meat viand. But today we are going to have it as a snack. Cause once you cook them in this way, they're basically like fish chips. So daing means dried and salted seafood. So this basically are salted and dried under the sun for several days. The whitish color on the surface is because of the dried salt, giving you this crispy texture and color and are basically ready to fry out of the package. First step is to heat some oil under medium heat. And while that's happening, we are going to make the vinegar dipping sauce. The vinegar dipping sauce is very simple. First, slice some garlic. Next, slice and chop a quarter of a red onion or you can use a white onion for a sweeter flavor if you like. Next are slices of serrano pepper including the seeds which give it that heat. Or if it's available, bird's eye chili. For my vinegar, I use a combination of a portion of white vinegar and apple cider vinegar. And finally season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. And these aromatics will infuse their flavor into the vinegar. Once the oil is hot enough, we can start cooking. And just maintain your stove at medium heat. And as you can see, it takes about 20 to 30 seconds per side to cook the entire thing. And make sure to have your tongs ready to flip this fried fish quickly. After you cook them to the desired crispiness, just set them aside. The next thing we're gonna cook while the oil is still hot is the squid. The dried squid even takes less time to cook. And to prevent it from curling, you can put a ladle on top of the squid while it's cooking. So this takes about 20 seconds on each side. And you can do the same process on the other side once you flip the squid. You can cook the squid longer for a crispier texture if you like. Just don't go above 40 seconds because it's gonna burn and it's gonna taste bitter. Afterwards, set it aside as well. And these two are some of my favorite dried seafood. The last pieces that we are going to fry are anchovies and a type of small fish that I forgot. And we would cook this in the same process for about 30 to 40 seconds each side. You don't really need to flip them and as you can see, they cook very fast. And set them aside as well. And the crispiness that we are looking for are like these pieces. So let's get our vinegar dipping sauce which you can taste those fragrant aromatics. This slender fish which the name I forgot is one of the crispiest types of dried fish. And when it comes to dried seafood, dried squid is one of my favorites. And just like the other dried fish, you can use its shape as scoop for the herbs or aromatics while you're dipping in the vinegar. And the anchovies and the small fish basically taste the same. And that was a great snack indeed. Thank you for watching this video and I really do hope that you enjoy it and thank you for your continued support and as always, like, comment, and subscribe. See you later in the next video guys. Take care!